Hey, it's me. And welcome to my channel. So, today I have for you six fragrances to bring forward to what either your fragrance tray or closer to your collection, guys. I got Poison Ivy. So, yeah, don't mind me. That's what that is. But anyway, just six fragrances to possibly bring to the front of your collection to wear because your girl saw a bee. There's still some snow on the ground, so I'm not sure what he was doing outside. But I didn't like it. So, and I was wearing C Intense earlier today, and I kind of freaked out took the clothes off, changed my whole fit. Like, y'all. <clears throat> so let's get into it. So these are scents that I still have some type of sweetness in it, but won't send, I don't think it's gonna send people into a panic if they're afraid of bees, like I'm afraid of bees. And it wasn't like a little bumblebee, y'all. This was a bee, like those slender bees, like the bee bees. And I don't, uh, yeah yeah so the first one is what i'm going to talk about that i feel like i mentioned a lot last year in the warmer months and this is valentino's donna born in roma yellow dream this is the best one in my opinion i do actually like um i do like the new intense and i'm gonna get into that actually oh oh did I say six, two, four? There's seven here, guys. My bad. So this is a lemon rose musk fragrance. So it's it's definitely a musk is the primary note here. And there's definitely that bright lemony vibe with a feminine touch to it. That feminine touch might just well be that rose for sure. And I think that's what the, those are the only three notes in this fragrance. It is beautiful. It's simple, but it is a beauty in its simplicity, if that makes any sense. I feel like there's a lot of fragrances out there with a sugar ton of notes. And one note can ruin the whole fragrance for you. If you know lemon, rose, and must work on your skin. This is kind of one of those fragrances I think is going to just work for a lot of different people. It's a pretty musk. It is not a super powdery musk. It is um, like that your skin but better type of musk. The lemon is beautifully done in here. It is not giving lemon cleaner. Um, it is beautiful. And the rose is definitely not an older rose. Y'all, how are you liking this lighting? I'm actually in front of my my um, window. Y'all see brooms and stuff over here in the background. My bad. I just like, let me just record this video because a lot is going on today um, and I want to get it done. But yeah, that is Valentino's Donna Born Roma Yellow Dreams. I feel like it's so underhyped and it deserves more hype because I just feel like it's an easy reach type of fragrance. And it's really pretty. So we're going to call this one the bonus one. Because I totally forgot about this one. I have my fragrances lined up over there. This is Okja's Morning Rain. Which is their dupe for Byredo's Gypsy Water. I love this. This is the least amount of sweetness, I believe. Out of all the fragrances. This is a bright, citrusy, juniper berry. Very pretty. Very pretty still the sweetness a little bit from the citrus oh but fresh it's a fresh um it's still cold outside but like and there's still some snow on the ground but like this is just nice this is just pretty this is i think this is truly very very a masterpiece um would i buy a byredo fragrance um i'm not sure i think the bottles are pretty I think they are very simple for the freaking price tag of a freaking Byredo fragrance, to be honest with you. Although I think the bottles are pretty in the simplicity of them. But still, for the price tag of it, I feel like it should have been dropped into a gold vat, lifted back up, let sat to dry, and then brought to the person's house when they ordered it um, and given to them in hand with a private note. But like, that's you know, to each their own. But I think just Morning Rain is just absolutely chef's kiss gorgeous without a lot of sweetness for sure. Piney, um, citrusy, absolutely gorgeous. 
oh my gosh she's a vibe and this is basically done which is why i'm just going to consider this the like not within the actual like an out like an extra a little bonus fragrance to try but i have to order another one i don't know if i'm going to order another one just from oak trunk all of the day or if i'm going to try it from another brand um we'll see how i feel about that the next one is one i talked about a lot and i put a little hefty dent not hefty but i've definitely put a nice size dent in her this is dua therapy which is dua's dupe of um initials musk therapy y'all was like musk therapy um which is another expensive brand she is a stunner she is a vibe i love this i think that she smells definitely a musky fragrance i feel like a couple of these this is a musky fragrance but um like a bougie orange juice. I I hate saying that because I always feel like it just sounds weird. Like that's what you want to smell like. But yes. Yes, I do want to smell like bougie orange juice. Yes, I do want to have this musky vibe. This is a great one. I actually wear to the gym quite a bit. This is one that's great for every day. And I just, I might own an initial fragrance one day. One day because i just love the bottles too but like for the price tag of initio yes two nails fell off don't judge me i feel like to have an everyday scent of an initial fragrance is wild um and so i i think dua did a good dupe of it i have smelt the original a few different times i go to the Lima markets and such quite a lot and i smell those fragrances and this is so beautiful it's just it's 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 that like i say the must like the bougie orange juice because it's definitely a very orangey scent to it very musky very fresh slightly tinged with sweetness now i'm telling i'm offering up these fragrances to you i don't know how your bees act and all you know each time bees can get braver but like i feel like these are the bees are less likely to swarm around you with these while still giving you that you know this is coco mademoiselle i had to talk about her guys i had to bring her up in here I love this. This is a patchouli based fragrance. It is bright, like a, a citrusy type of vibe. She's got a little bit of sweetness in her. Oh, she's, she, she's pretty. I think she, when I say she's pretty for the sake of being pretty, I'm not sure about that. I think she has made the a name for herself basically the goat i think she has been mourned by many a people over a vast amount of time come steer properly thanks thanks i think she has been worn for many 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 years i think she is beautiful she's pretty she's a projector the patchouli in here really makes this a very strong fragrance i think that the patchouli doesn't make this a masculine front scent or super earthy, but it gives her some punch with all those citrus notes and the sparkling notes. And I just put that like up my nose, but mm. I'm seeing people use the Coco Mademoiselle body wash and the oil. And I just feel like perhaps I need to go get them that this is one of my favorite like scent family scent profile whatever it's absolutely gorgeous coco mademoiselle i'm sure you guys know about it i have to mention this in there because this is still it's still cold this is woody tobacco which is dossier's dupe for um mason margella's um jazz club this is sexy this is lemon pink pepper neroli rum dry fruit blonde woods styrax tobacco leaves and vanilla definitely the heaviest of the ones i'm offering up to you but it's heavy in just like a, a deepness like it's super deep and there's some sweetness in here but it's not enough i think it's gonna trigger anima or trigger not animal bees is not animal but i don't think it's gonna trigger the bees like that this is so good this is so good. This is almost definitely very unisex. Sometimes it leans a little masculine to me, but like, I'm not mad about it. It's not the masculine in a way I'm like, oh my gosh, it smells like man. You know what I mean? Like, 
it's it's almost like aftershave it's almost like that barbershop smell it's almost like like the you go to you went and got your you know chia pup or your hair done and you go to a a restaurant the lights are dim down low they have like the local 10 course meal because each meal is like a half an ounce like it you know the little little taste bites and it's like jazz music playing live the bartender is making these beautiful drinks and some very like standard og drinks that's what this kind of smells like to me and there's definitely a tobacco note the tobacco note is quite prominent in here so if you don't like that this is not the one for you but if you like to give have some quite a presence and don't mind smelling unisex i think woody tobacco is the vibe and it's much more affordable than the original or you can just use the original i love this so i think people are talking about the eau pauvre i don't know how you're supposed to say eau pauvre i don't know um this is the original twilly the hermes this is absolutely gorgeous guys this smells like spiced like a like a drink like a like a ginger beer it smells like um yeah like a ginger beer there's definitely quite a sparkling quality to this to me this is but a fresh like not like a super sweet ginger beer like a fresh ginger beer like a tang tang like it's just the ginger is very strong in here um it's very fresh there's a slight bit of sweetness in here i think that this is it smells kind of expensive to be honest at least what i would think would smell expensive but now anything's expensive these days i mean caramel fragrances cost 400 dollars. so honestly what does expensive smell like but i think if it had to have a smell it would be this um i'm glad i did pick this up because i was really on the fence when i first bought this because it is a very ginger beer like if you're Caribbean or you just had ginger beer before, this is literally what it smells to me. Like you crack open that ginger beer and that ginger bubbling to the surface and that bubbliness in the ginger beer, but that also type of fr freshness in it. Totally their MS, but expensive. Okay, so maybe they put it in like a crystal, just like a tiny glass that you have with a stem on it or something. And then the last one I talk about is one of my favorite fragrances of all time. I think it works in all seasons, whenever, wherever you're going, however you're going to be, but it is expensive, so a dupe will work just fine. This is MFK's Gentle Fluidity. Come no, ghoul. Is it that? Mm. Um, yeah, there's a little denty done coming in here and I need to relax. I have like two dupes of this. Mm. <laughs> this is gorgeous. This is. It's got some sweetness in here for sure. It's a vanilla fragrance. But it's not a vanilla thick dessert fragrance. This is juniper berries. This is. So it's a little. It's a little piney. It's a like outdoorsy. It's almost like a pixie or a woodland fairy. If you were to actually come across one in real life, okay, like they are one with nature, this might be what she smells like. This fragrance of a leans a little fe feminine to me. Anyone can wear what they want when they feel like that. But this just. It's so gorgeous and so strong without being polarizing. It's it's light without being non-existent. She's outsidey without being dirt or dirty smelling or manure or anything crazy. She's upscale without being too posh and you feel like you have to wear her only in really wonderful fun times she's just perfect quite honestly this is one of the most perfect fragrances i've ever smelled one one of the most interesting fragrances i've smelled without entering weird like i feel like some of these fragrances out here i'm like i know you're trying to be different but perhaps not like that 
Does anybody else feel like that? If you felt what I just said, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because we do a lot of stuff like that. If you were like, girl, what? Go ahead and just hit that like button anyway because listen, I'm just explaining you what I'm getting from this fragrance. I love this. This is gorgeous. Like I said, there are dupes of this. This is an expensive fragrance. This is not that cheap fragrance. I mean, it's not... Okay, so this small one I think was like 140 which is at this point... At this point, I'm not sure what it goes for now, but when I bought it, that's what it was, which was when my husband bought this for me, and it was only like a few months ago, but you just know, know what the pricing. But at this point, designer fragrances are costing big money. Um, but yeah, those are the six plus one fragrances that I feel like, listen, maybe pull them to the front of your collection. Um, you still want to be smelled, right? And I feel like these still have some protection to them, but you perhaps don't want to be attacked by the random bees that decided to come out early to, to to leave the hive for what i don't know for who i don't know but i'm not sure if their queen told them to or not or they're just not listening or they just decided to fly so low but i don't like it um it is what it is um but these fragrances i now are going to be i'm going to have my own them i'm going to have my eye on them one of these probably anyway thank you so much for watching this whole video if you reach the end of this video go ahead and drop me a b emoji and um yeah drop that b emoji and hopefully i'll see you in my next video bye bye